among the architects, a young and award-winning practice in, in Cairo that has been widely published. And uh, I think you've uh, recently completed the Delfina Foundation here in London, right, with Octopus or uh, Octopi, yeah. I think, Studio Octopi, sorry. And uh, besides her practice, uh, she's also a visiting professor at Columbia, and you were just announced as the Lip Scholar uh, for the next year in Harvard. Yeah. Well, please welcome Shahira. Thank you, sir. I was struggling actually with this talk today because like geography, maps, and yesterday at the Chu, uh, the Metro magazine saved me with the Google Maps uh, news. Uh, they announced yesterday that um, they would be mapping or releasing all their information until 2007. So basically, they were means they will go back in time and users can see how areas have changed since the inception of the global mapping service. So I was wondering if this can be looked at as if it's an archaeology of the very recent past, can this tell us or form an assembling for what is coming on in the future? And <clears throat> I was thinking that um, especially um, how built environments and uh, are composite of assemblings of structures, spaces, infrastructures, services, technology with a certain capacity to act and interact with their surroundings. And how these structures um, can not only frame events but also um, um, like structure events. So um, I was wondering if Google Map released especially Cairo situation, the past maybe 10 years. Can this predict or tell us about the recent events happening in Egypt? And, um, and is Mubarak have lost the, um, the battle over a city before he lose it in 18 days in Tahrir Square? And I think in the, especially in Cairo, what was happening in the past 30 years, and especially in the 10 years, um, a huge growth of construction around the city, peripheries. And the peripheries, which were marginalized from the state, took power and um, took more um, development than the center. And somehow, it claimed the center in the end. So how can we, a tool like Google, and which is around the building and around the constructed building, not a destroyed one. And how can this be a mode of speaking on, on behalf of inanimate object, giving voice to things to, to which nature has not given a uh, voice? And can this be um, like, you know, if, for example, these are works from MIT, um, giving different uh, forms of activities happening, whether it is some of them are uh, deciphering images of tourists in parts of Manhattan to try to know how things happen. And I was wondering if this Google Map thing or new um, can be helpful into the uh, future. And I will quote here um, <coughs> Uh, Eyal Wiseman in his book from um, Forensic Architecture, where he claims that architecture has become the pathology of this era. But in his book, he was looking into the destroyed architecture or more the uh, destroyed buildings. And I was here um, arguing if we look at the amount of constructions and where they're happening and why they're happening in these times of places and how can this tell us about the shift in power sorry i lost the slide <laughs> okay i'll stop in here and how this can tell us about the shifts the conflicts the power struggles the base and um, that happens within societies and can this tell us about when another revolution is happening or when is um, uh, the shift happening from a city to the other, and I will stop here.